Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x squared minus y squared, this is equal to 9. Let's call this equation 1. And x times y, this is equal to 20, let's call this equation 2. Now, what is the value of x plus y? So let's provide the solution from here. From equation 1, which is x squared minus y squared, this is equal to 9. So the first step here is to square both sides, so that now x squared minus y squared squared, this is in the form of a minus b squared, which you can express as a squared plus b squared minus 2 times ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then this implies a, we have x to power 2, raised to power 2, then plus y to power 2, raised to power 2, then subtract 2 times x to power 2, times y to power 2. This is equal to 9 squared, which is equal to 81. The next step is that x to power 2 raised to power 2, this is in the form of a to power n raised to power m, which we can express as a to power n times m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have x to power 2 times 2, this is 4, plus y raised to power 2 times 2, so it is y to power 4, then subtract. Here we can express this as 2 into the parentheses. This is the same thing as x, y, raised to power 2. This is equal to 81. The next step is that x, y is what we have in equation 2. So x, y is equal to 20. So let's substitute this value. So this implies that x to power 4 plus y to power 4 subtract 2 multiplying by 20 raised to power 2, this is equal to 81. So this implies that x to power 4 plus y to power 4 minus 20 squared, this is 400 times 2, so we have 800 here, this is equal to 81. Therefore, we have that x to power 4 plus y to power 4, let's take minus 800 on the right hand side, so that here we have 81 plus 800. So this implies that x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4, this is equal to 81 plus 800, and this is 881. Now, let's call this equation 3. Let's move to the second step here. That is step 2 from here, step 2. Now, we have that x squared plus y squared squared this is the same thing as x to power 2 raised to power 2 then plus y to power 2 raised to power 2 then plus 2x squared y squared now from here we have that x to the power 2 plus y to the power 2 raised to the power 2. This is the same thing as x to the power 2 raised to the power 2. So this is x to the power 4. Then plus y to the power 2 raised to the power 2. So this is y to the power 4. Then plus 2. x squared y squared. This can be expressed as x y raised to the power 2. Now. This implies that x squared plus y squared raised to the power 2, this can be expressed as x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4. This is what we have in equation 3, which is 881. So we have 881, then plus 2 times xy, xy is equal to 20, so this is squared. So we have x squared plus y squared raised to power 2. This is equal to 881 
plus 20 squared, which is 400 times 2. So we have 800. Now this implies that x squared plus y squared raised to power 2. This is equal to 881 plus 800. And this is equal to 1681. So this implies that x squared plus y squared, everything here raised to power 2. This is equal to 1681. Now, to solve for x squared plus y squared, we introduce the square root on both sides. So that now here, we eliminate the square root sign here. So this implies that x squared plus y squared, this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1681, which is 41. So we have plus or minus 41. Now, let's call this equation 4. Now, let's move to step 3 from here. In this case, we have that x plus y squared. This is actually equal to x squared plus y squared, then plus 2xy. So this implies that x plus y squared is the same thing as x squared plus y squared, which is what we have in equation 4. So this implies that x plus y squared, this is equal to plus or minus 41, then plus 2 times. Now we have x plus y squared, this is equal to plus or minus 41 plus 40. So this implies that x plus y raised to power 2, this is equal to 40 plus or minus 41. So in this case, we'll have x plus y squared. This is equal to 40 plus 41. And the, possible, the other possible value is we'll have 40 subtract 41. So now here we have x plus y squared, this is equal to 40 plus 41, this is 81. This implies that we have that to solve for x plus y, we have to get the square root on both sides. So this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 81. And this implies that to eliminate the square root sign here, we eliminate the square root sign here, so that x plus y, this is equal to plus or minus square root of 81, which is equal to 9. So this, this is the first value of x plus y. x plus y is equal to 9. x plus y is equal to minus 9. We have also the other possible. We have that x plus y squared. This is equal to 40 minus 41, which is minus 1. So to solve for x plus y from here, we introduce a square root sign on both sides. So we have x plus y squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 1. So this implies here we eliminate the square root sign. So that x plus y, this is equal to plus or minus, the square root of minus 1, this is equal to i. Therefore, this implies that x plus y, this is equal to i, and we have that x plus y, this is equal to minus i. So, in this case, we have two complex solutions. We have two complex solutions from here, and we have two real solutions. So we have a total of four solutions for x plus y. We have a total of four solutions for x plus y. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video.